Summary of the Life of Lazarillo de Tormes The book is written from the point of view of Lazaro de Tormes, a town crier in the city of Toledo. In the form of a letter, he tells his life story to an unknown boss. In the short introduction to the book, Lazaro says that he is telling the story to better explain something that his listener has asked about, but he doesn't say what it is. Lazaro was born to poor parents outside of the Spanish city of Salamanca. When his father was caught stealing from the mill where he worked, he was sent away and died soon after in a war. Lazaro and his widowed mother moved to Salamanca, where she gets a job and settles down with a slave named Zaid who works in the stables. Lazaro's mother has another child with Zaid, but then Zaid is caught stealing to support Lazaro and his family. The court says that Lazaro's mother can't see Zaid again, so she moves to an inn with her two boys and gets a job there. Lazaro's mother met a blind man at the inn. The blind man offered to take Lazaro as a servant, so Lazaro left his family to journey with the blind man. The blind man made money by saying prayers in return for alms. Lazaro finds out pretty quickly that the blind man is stingy and not honest. Lazaro is abused by the old man and often goes hungry while working for him, but he learns a lot about how to stay alive. Lazaro finally gets the courage to leave the blind man's service, but before he does, he gets his revenge. He puts the blind man in front of a stone pillar and tricks him into hitting his head on it by telling him he is standing on one side of a gully that he needs to jump across. Lazaro goes to a town by himself, where he meets a priest who agrees to hire him as a helper. However, Lazaro soon finds out that this boss is even meaner than the last one. The priest makes Lazaro go hungry, but soon Lazaro gets a key to the locked chest where the priest keeps bread, and he eats it all. When the priest sees that one of Lazaro's loaves is stolen, he has to get smarter. He starts to eat the bread, making it look like mice are getting into the chest. Eventually, the priest figures out what Lazaro is doing, and he sends Lazaro on his way. Lazaro's third boss is a squire who has lost all of his money but is obsessed with keeping up the look of being rich and noble. Lazaro feels sorry for the squire and gives him some of the food he gets by begging in town. When the squire can't pay his rent any longer, he and Lazaro leave the house. When the owners see that the house is empty, they think Lazaro stole everything and threaten to punish him. Lazaro's friends stand up for him, though. Lazaro works for a monk for a short time before moving on to another town. There, he meets an indulgence seller, whose job is to get people to buy things that he says will forgive their sins. The person selling indulgences agrees to hire Lazaro as his helper, and Lazaro takes part in a plan that leads everyone in one town to buy indulgences. Then Lazaro helps a man who paints tambourines for a short time. Then he helps a chaplain by taking a mule around town to sell water for the chaplain. Lazaro keeps this job for a few years and doesn't say much about it, but he's happy because it lets him save money and take care of himself for the first time in his life. After that, he works for a short time as a policeman and then gets a job as a town crier in Toledo, where he sells wine to make money. The archbishop gets interested in Lazaro while he is working as a town crier and offers him one of his girls to marry. Even though many people think the maid is the archbishop's lover, Lazaro accepts the archbishop's offer. Lazaro finds out later that these reports are true, but he doesn't care because the archbishop gives him and his wife some money. Lazaro is ready to let the archbishop's image be protected in exchange for his fake marriage. At this point in the story, it becomes clear that what Lazaro talks about in the opening is his deal with the archbishop. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.